Zeke Outbreak Epicenter in same area where genetically modified mosquitoes were released in 2015. There's also been a radiation connection as well. Could we be seeing a convergence of GM mosquitoes and radiation causing significant mutations in babies? This is from the antimedia.org. The World Health Organization announced it will convene in an emergency committee under international health regulations on Monday concerning the Zika virus explosive spread throughout the Americas. The virus reportedly has the potential to reach pandemic proportions, possibly around the globe. A casual relationship between Zika virus infection and birth malformations and neurological syndromes is strongly suspected and have rapidly changed the risk profile of Zika from a mild threat to one of alarming proportions. Who is deeply concerned about the rapidly evolving situation for four main reasons? The possible association of infection with birth malformations and neurological syndromes, the potential for a further international spread given the wide geographical distribution of the mosquito vector. specific treatments and the rapid diagnostic tests, the level of concern is high, as is the level of uncertainty. Zika seemingly exploded out of nowhere. The first case was reported in the Pacific in 2013. A smattering of small outbreaks in individual cases were officially documented in Africa and the Western Pacific. This also began showing up in the Americas in May of 2015. Brazil reported its first case of Zika virus and the situation changed dramatically. Brazil is now considered the epicenter of the Zika outbreak, which coincides with at least 4,000 reports of babies born with microcephaly. When examining a rapidly expanding potential pandemic, it's necessary to leave no stone unturned, so possible solutions as well as future prevention will be effective as possible. Oxitec first unveiled its large-scale genetically modified mosquito farm in Brazil as of 2012 with the goal of reducing the incidence of dengue fever as the disease daily reported. Dengue fever is spread by the same Aedes mosquitoes which spread the Zika virus. It may inadvertently be transported by humans from one place to another. By July 2015, shortly after the GM mosquitoes were first released into the wild in Brazil, Oxitec probably announced they had successfully controlled the Aedes aegypti mosquito that spreads dengue fever, chikamunga, and CQ virus by reducing the target population by more than 90%. Though that might sound like an astounding success, and arguably it was, there is an alarming possibility to consider. Nature as one finds a way, and the effort to control dengue, Zika, and other viruses appears to have backfired dramatically. The particular strain of Oxitec GM mosquitoes, OX513A, are genetically altered so the vast majority of their offspring will die before they mature, though Dr. Ricarda Steinbrecher published concerns in a report of 2010 that a known survival rate of 3-4% to warranted further study before the release of these GM insects. Her concern, which echoed by several other scientists both at the time and since, appeared to have been ignored, though they should not have been. Those genetically modified mosquitoes work to control wild, potentially disease-carrying populations in a very specific manner. Only the male-modified Aedes mosquitoes are supposed to be released into the wild, as they will mate with their unaltered female counterparts. Once offspring are produced, 
the modified scientific faucet is supposed to kick in and kill that larva before it reaches breeding age. If tetracycline is not present during its development, but there is a problem. According to an unclassified document from the Trade and Agricultural Directorate Committee for Agricultural Data back in 2015, Brazil is the third largest in global antimicrobial consumption in food animal production. Meaning Brazil is third in the world for its use of tetracycline in its food animals. It is estimated that approximately 75% of antibiotics are not absorbed by animals and are excreted in waste. One of the antibiotics or antimicrobials specifically named in that report for its environmental persistence is tetracycline. In fact, the confidential internal oxytec document divulged in 2012 that survival rates could be as high as 15%, even with low levels of tetracycline present. Even small amounts of tetracycline can repress the engineered lethality. Indeed, that 15% survival rate was described by Oxitec. After a lot of testing and comparing experimental design, it was found that researchers had used a cat food to feed the OX513A larva, and this cat food contained chicken. It is known that tetracycline is routinely used to prevent infections in chickens, especially in the cheap mass-produced chickens used for animal feed. The chicken is heated and treated before being used, but this does not remove all of the tetracycline. This means that a small amount of tetracycline was being added from the food to the larva and repressing the designed lethal system. Even absent, this tetracycline and Steinbrecher explain a subpopulation of genetically modified Aedes mosquitoes could theoretically develop and thrive in theory capable of surviving and flourishing despite any further releases of pure GM mosquitoes which still had the gene intact. She had the effectiveness of the system also depends on the genetically designed late onset of the lethality. If the time and onset is altered due to environmental conditions, then a 3 to 4 percent survival rate represents a much bigger problem. Conditions associated with this year's El Nino weather pattern are expected to increase mosquito populations greatly in many areas. Incidentally, President Obama called for a massive research effort to develop a vaccine for the Zika virus. As one does not currently exist, oh, there might be one already. This could have been just planned. Brazil has now called in 200,000 soldiers to somehow help combat the virus spread. That might even further make it worse. Aedes mosquitoes have reportedly been spotted in the UK, but perhaps the most ironic or not proposition was pro-offered in January by the MIT Technology Review. An outbreak in the Western Hemisphere could give countries including the United States new reasons to try wiping out mosquitoes with genetic engineering. Yesterday the Brazilian city of Paracaba said it would expand the use of genetically modified mosquitoes. The GM mosquitoes were created by Oxitec, a British company recently purchased by Intrexon, a synthetic biology company based in Maryland. The company said it had released bugs on parts of Brazil and the Cayman Islands to battle dinge fever.